Hello, and welcome to a VO's Journey podcast. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It has been about a month and a half. Shame on me um, for not doing a podcast. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I've had people messaging me like, Hey, Anthony, are you okay? We haven't heard a podcast in a long time. And yes, I'm doing wonderful. I'm sorry. And and the funny thing is, is this is episode 250. So this is a big milestone. And I want to thank all of you all for listening and being a part of a VO's journey podcast. I'm excited to share with you some incredible things that are happening and the excitement of us uh, into, uh, you know, we're now, in the January 2nd of 2023. So we're going to be talking about today what's going on with the VO's journey, where am I, what am I planning on doing for 2023, and how this can help you grow your voiceover business, all right? Let's do it. This is VO's Journey. With your host, the incomparable Anthony Pika. All right. Well, it is really good to be coming back to you guys and talking. It's been a while since I've done, you know, the podcast. Of course, my dog starts barking in the background. Um, But, you know, here I'm here with a cup of coffee. I'm sitting down in my chair, (laughs) taking a sip. Mm. And, uh, you know, we're going to get this thing kicked off. So tons of things going on. So, of course, if you've been following the journey, um, you know, there's been a lot of things. The Avio's Journey Elite Academy is going strong and, and super excited about everything going there. We're we're adding um, some exciting things this year um, in 2023. One of the big things that that I'm adding to the Academy is more one on one time with me. So I've noticed that, you know, throughout um, the year and a half now that the Academy, you know, we've had the mastermind for many years now, many years, uh, probably, I think I started in 2018, 2019. But now, you know, the the Academy, we started in the uh, when we started in the like, I think it was no, uh, January, or, I'm sorry, it was November, October, November of 2021. So, I mean, we, we've been going now for about, you know, over a year uh, in the academy. And one of the things I've noticed is that, you know, the need for more one-on-one attention. So we're definitely going to be doing more one-on-one attention from me. I'm going to be doing, you know, 15-minute sessions, trying to get trying to get to a point where we're, you know, all the members get at least like one, you know, one-on-one a month. Um, and that's something that I'm really excited about as well, um, you know, to, to help everybody, because I think, you know, we're all on such different journeys, as you guys know, and, uh, you know, the more I can help, the better. And I think one-on-one really helps a lot. So, you know, doing that uh, is going to be really exciting. Also, I'm really excited about looking, okay, so this is my grandiose ideas, but, you know, um, Something about SAG-AFTRA that I've always loved, because uh, you know I'm not I'm not in the union. Um, but what I what I loved about it was the validation of things. You know, like for example, you know, being able to be a part of you know um, the the union and you know having you know, insurance and having retirement opportunities and, you know, just just tools and resources that, you know, we as freelancers or actors don't you, you know, we don't have um, the ability of that bigger, larger collective bargaining idea, right, of a community. And I've learned that big time with insurance and all kinds of stuff like this, how important it is to have a larger number of people. So that's something that, you know, I'm really excited to be exploring with the Academy. uh, And as we go to 2023 and 2024 to see, you know, can we get, you know, with uh, I'm going to be working, you know, can in simple things too, like bookkeeping, you know, like I I have a a professional CPA um, as well as tax account and tax accountants and things like that. Um, And, you know, it'd be nice to be able to offer that service through, uh, you know, VO's Journey Academy, <clears throat> um, insurance, 
you know, can we get a better deal on insurance because we have, uh, you know, close to 200 members. And as we grow, you know, three, four, five, six hundred members and up, you know, we can do a lot better uh, pricing. And and I know for me, insurance was one of my, you know, health insurance was one of my largest expenses. You know, what about business uh, help? You know, help you with your, you know, setting up your LLC, you know, when is the time come for you to move from, you know, a, a sole proprietor to LLC or from a single member to an S corp and, and all these different things. Uh, and then taxes, filing taxes. I mean, I didn't No, I'm not a tax advisor, so don't, <laughs> so you had to, but I know like for me, when I made under $20,000, you know, before I made $20,000, I wasn't too keen. It wasn't like a big deal for me. You know, of course I reported, but it wasn't like I I was a sole proprietor. There wasn't a big issue to, to care so much about it because I wasn't making a lot of money. But, you know, once you start making over $20,000, um, now they're changing a lot of things or they have changed a lot of things with PayPal and stuff like that. It used to be PayPal didn't even, um, submit, that you made any money until after twenty thousand dollars, but I think all that has changed. But, anyways, needless to say, you know there there's um, room for tools that can really help voice actors, and you know simple things like a CRM. You know, I know uh, some of the other places like Gravy for the Brain has a CRM. You know that they have. Now I, I'm not. Um, I, I haven't seen much of it. I don't know how good it is, but you know, there's a lot of tools and things that I'd like the Academy members to have access to. And I think we, as a group, right, the, our membership is not, can mean so much more than just the education, but also, you know, we can have our own, I hate it's not union union. <laughs> you want to look at it that way. You know, I, I really do believe in that. Um, and then and then also really excited about Academy Voices. You know, we just launched this. It's only about a month old. And we've done, you know, we've already we've already gotten work through it. And it's gonna be, you know, it's a great project. So the Academy Voices is our agency part of Avio's Journey Elite Academy. And this is where we started to go out and you know find work for our academy members, you know, voiceover work. And we did a job; it was really cool um, for a, a, an Atlanta golf company, and that was really cool. One of our people did an awesome job for that, and that was that was exciting. And then we had uh, we're, we had another another person come looking for all kinds of voice actors uh, that spoke. Um, uh, Haitian Creole, <laughs> which we didn't have any, so I was looking around for ha- Haitian Creole voice actors. Uh, but the the point is, is that you know we've we've got to be getting there, and that project is going to be ongoing. Uh, and really excited, uh, AcademyVoices.com. So I'm really I'm really thrilled about that as well, and where that can take us. Um, now I think from an individual standpoint and in voiceover, I'm very excited about 2023 because I think. So many voice actors are going to be able uh, to really hone what we have seen grow. I mean, Fiverr, of course, is Fiverr and it doesn't show any signs of changing. But what I see a lot going on is so much more uh, business and work is going to be going through personal websites and LinkedIn because there are so many people who are now uh, able to do transactions easily online and you know even though things are so more crazy than they've ever been with like scams and things online there's so many more people transacting online you know what i mean so it's kind of one of those situations where yeah there's a lot of stuff going on but there's also a huge opportunity for us to really get work you know through linkedin through our own websites you know it's funny before christmas i had like four or five emails from people who found my website and were wanting to get auditions and stuff like this. And I'm like, where's all this coming from? You know, I realize that as I continue to promote, and that's an interesting thing too, and a side note, as you can, you know, as I continue to promote the Academy and I promote uh, Academy Voices, the Elite Academy, you know, I'm putting myself out there, the more, you know, the more people are going to find you, right? And the more people are going to be able to search for you. And also the more that you get your links out there that go to your website, that go to your profile page, Pages that go to your social media, you cross link, make sure everything is, you know, touching the other, you know, you're going to have a lot of success 
with people who stumble upon you, who are finding you or looking for something and they see your stuff and they're going to message you. And that's a really exciting thing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very bullish on, you know, 2023 and, you know, you building your own personal empire um, and with, you know, with the help of the Academy, you know, and so that's, that's what I'm really excited for as well. Uh, I'm, I've been thrilled about my own voiceover business. You know, it's, it's doing exactly what it's been doing. Um, and it's, it's not changed. It's done well. And, you know, it, but I have to admit the more everything else grows, it does, like I said, become harder and harder to manage, you know, doing, um, dealing with clients and everything like that. Um, because, you know, I've got so many wonderful voice actors I'm trying to help and everything. So, you know, that's always a challenge, you know, I'm, I'm still doing probably between two to $4,000 a month on Fiverr, which is, which is great. I mean, that's all I, you know, that's, that's all I need and all I have time for. And, uh, then of course, business off of Fiverr though is picked up, which is another thing that, you know, like for example, you know, a voice realm, voice jungle, these places have really picked up for me. People per hour has even brought in some work and, you know, and, and, and the jobs, you know, are five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar jobs. So, you know, one job, it's a big job. And, um, you know, that, that's been really nice to have that sort of, um, outside income outside of Fiverr, you know, be a part and a lot of you're just booked from those right as well. So, you know, me, I like to work in places where I'm booked, uh, by outside, you know, by, by the actual clients and I don't have to go and do, you know, hundreds of auditions. I mean, the voice realm is an audition platform, but you know, it's, it's not, um, heavy auditioning. I, I don't audition, uh, like a voices.com or voice one, two, three. Um, I am excited also just on a side note. So I'm going to be doing some stuff with voices.com. Um, and we're going to be, uh, they, they approached me and asked if I would do some things with them, um, this month on, uh, coaching and, um, analyzing auditions and things through, um, their podcast and a variety of other places here in January. So I'm looking forward to working with them and, um, you know, we're going to be discussing voice acting, uh, in its physical form. Now you really can use physicality to bring your voice acting to life, which is something that, you know, you know me, I talk all the time about um, business, you know, um, the the mind and all these things and the directions and, and the goals and everything that we've set. And I haven't, I haven't even talked to you about the goals because the goals are a big part of 2023, just beginning here, right? It's your goals that hopefully you set your goals already. And if you haven't set your goals, set them now. And if it, even if it's just one or two goals, set them because you can always add more, but it's important for you to always have a direction. Anyways, um, you know, th- I always talk about those things, but the acting part is something that, you know, I... Uh, for the first part of my adult life, that's all I did was, was, you know, I went to school for acting, I got my degrees in acting, I acted professionally, I was a stage actor, uh, I coached, uh, directed, um, produced, uh, done technical, I mean, I've done so much with the theater, and I'm so blessed that I have, because it's showed me, you know, how to uh, adapt And that's a big thing about improvisation as an actor, too, is that adaptation. And I think it's not just the adaptation in acting. I think improv helps you in all of life, helps you in business, helps you in all these areas, because you have to be able to, um, you know, take situations, right, and turn them, you know, and accept those situations, right, and add to them to grow. I mean, it really is kind of like a a calling card for life. Um, you know, so, so I'm excited about that. Uh, it's going to be a variety of things. I don't have all the links or anything yet, but there's gonna be a lot, I guess I'm doing like three or four different things with voices.com this month, just to, you know, just as coaching too, and be able to talk, I'm sure somewhat about the Academy. So I'm excited about that because I really do like, uh, I like Dave, uh, David and I like Stephanie and, um, you know, they're, they're good people. So, I I think voice.com is is a place that, you know, I, I like to be a part of in one way or another. Um, so anyways, so that that's an interesting piece of news that's gonna be going on. Um and you know, with all of that going on, um, I'm really, really excited too about you know the the possibilities that are are coming from um you know online with Google and 
you know, what I'm learning with ads and the possibilities of SEO and everything that I've been working really hard with Academy Voices because it's been teaching me a lot. So I'm really excited about teaching that to other you know, voice actors as well. You know, how can you build a website that people are actually going to come see? What are tools that you can use? There's so many amazing tools, um, you know, and and there's so many amazing AI tools. You know, that we have that we walk a fine road, like a fine line with. Right. Because, you know, um, I've been a a huge advocate. I'm not I I don't like I don't do voiceovers for AI, you know, like when it comes to AI voices, I I, I refuse to (laughs) I refuse to give my voice to an AI. Uh, I think I wouldn't mind if. I made, you know, money in perpetuity, you know, like if somebody was going to pay me to use my voice uh, and every time they use my voice in an AI simulator or something like that or an AI that I would be paid, you know what I mean? But I just refuse to allow someone to do that. Um, And uh, so I don't, you know, do that with AI, but, um, you know, you cannot deny what is happening with AI and especially with AI on the um, content creation, um, there's been some incredible tools that have just recently come out within the last couple of weeks that literally blow my mind. Um, and, you know, from the chat uh, or the the GPT-3 software that you use in Jasper AI and all these different places, you know, I mean, I, I have to create a lot of content constantly right you know with because it's that's how that's how we market you know putting out content from things like you know i mean yes putting out this podcast but all the written descriptions right blog posts um you know uh newsletters um you know just simple posts from twitter or whatever there's there's just constant content creation and writing you know and it's it can be very daunting and when you're trying to work smarter and not harder right you inevitably go to well, i'm going to hire someone and when you go to hire someone when you're you know when you're bootstrapping this that's really hard because you know it, it and this is this is where i think that dilemma of AI comes in, right? Because, you know, I don't, I want to work with real people. And I think there's, there's something special and magical, you know, about having that, that brain and that camaraderie. Um, but at the same time, there is a, a real price number and it is expensive. You know, I was, I'm debating right now. I mean, this is a hard thing for me. Like right now I have some, an amazing content creator, but they're so <laughs> expensive and you know i can i can i've found tools now where i can create you know content right very quickly now again i have to put in more work i mean it's not like it, it there is a sense of well there's still stuff i have to do but the amount of money you know it's just so it's it's a battle that we all face right it's it's a, how do we grow When we don't have the means, but we have to figure out that's our goal, right? Our goal as business owners is to find solutions, solutions to the challenges that face us that are standing in our way in order to grow, right? So these are the challenges. And I think that's where, you know, with AI, you walk a fine line because a lot of it is very appealing. And then when is, when is it going to be where most of these content creators that you're going to hire? I mean, you know, like blog writers, et cetera they're going to be using AI too, or they already are using AI to at least supplement their work because how are they going to be? I mean, that's a, it's a lot of work. I mean, writing is still, you know, um, a lot of work and you have to be able to pump it out in order to make it viable. Um, So, you know, I think that's this, these are the challenges that I think we're all going to be facing coming up. I mean, simulating everything. I mean, there's going to, there's so much capabilities that's coming out with technology. So I think that even for us as voice actors, we need to make sure that we are on the forefront, the cutting edge and, and being aware of all of these things. You know what I mean? You know, um, don't ignore them. You know, I, I don't know if you like that saying, you know, keep your um, friends close, but your enemies closer or whatever that saying is. Right. I mean, I think it's I think it's really valid because, you know, if you want to look at your enemy as AI, but, you know, as voice actors, right, you know, the AI voice, they are becoming incredible, but they still do. They still lack sincerity. You know, they can mimic sincerity, uh, but not really well at the moment. Okay, And, you know, 
the 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 idea of the AI world or the the creators right was to give people the ability to take an AI voice and program it how they'd like it, you know, like speed up here, slow down here, or make a pause here. But right now it's just not, you know, you, the, the compute, you know, our minds, our abilities, our sincerity is not quite able, at least in the mainstream to reconstruct. So, you know, I mean, it is a challenge, you guys, it is a challenge and we've got to be on the forefront of this and be aware of it, but it is here. And it's not something that we can just say, well, we're not going to participate and it's going to go away. You know, I mean, I tried not to participate and it just doesn't, it's just, it's here. Um, I don't think it's going to stop people from purchasing voiceovers from us, but I do think it is something that we need to pay attention to. And there will come a time, I firmly believe, this is just my opinion. I do think there'll be a time when we have to make decisions in our own business. Do we embrace AI, make it a part of our business somehow, right? As a studio, you know, because I'm really trying to look more at myself as a studio now, you know, that has a variety of different ways to make money than just one voice actor, by myself, you know, against the world. Um, I think we start off that way and that's how we have to start off in order to learn. But, you know, we are studios, we're building studios or we built studios in our home. Okay. Um, so it's just something to think about. Um, and you know, it could be a wonderful opportunity for us in the future. So there's a lot of opportunities in 2023 and moving forward. And I'm excited that we are on the forefront of it. And, you know, as voice actors, we get to really see a lot of new stuff as it's coming out because we're still the voice of it. So um, anyways, you guys, thank you so much. I was just chatting away. I've, I've, you know me, I like to chat, but it's wonderful to open up 2023 with this episode, 250 of a VO's journey podcast. And I look forward to doing many more this year and getting to 300 and got to have a big party and giveaway. When we get to 300. I'm excited. Uh, but thank you guys. Make sure you like this wherever you are, leave a comment and uh, uh, let me know if you have any questions and I, I hope to talk to you all soon. Have a wonderful year and until uh, next time. All right, everybody. Oh, and check out uh, the link to Avio's Journey Elite Academy. You know, like I was saying in the beginning of this, we have so many incredible things going on. So look forward to talking to you. See you later. Peace. Peace.